The Oklahoma State women's basketball team is in the midst of conference play and struggled to make an impact against third-ranked Baylor. The 4-7 and seven Cowgirls couldn't handle the depth of the Bears that had four starters score in the double digits. OSU is 1-5 in, in their last six games. We're not the only one that's going through tr tough stretches here. and It's, it's how you handle it and, and uh, how you advance further. It, um, it ain't going to do us any good to beat these kids up right now. I, I, I think they, they love playing. Uh, they, they enjoy playing with each other. Um, it's just a case that we've got we've to get better. We're, we're not as good as we need to be right now. The Cowgirls are struggling to find the momentum for their season, and it might have something to do with the adversity they're facing on and off the court. Guard Brittany Atkins will miss the remainder of the season due to a torn meniscus. The Cowgirls have young players trying to fill the spot and are still looking to find someone to take charge of the team. Um, that's something we emphasize a little bit. It's just everybody's, instead of having that certain one person to be that leader, we've kind of developed everybody as a leader and everybody helping each other. So it's kind of, I think we're all making each other work and we're working hard for playing time. And I think now the coaches have kind of told us, like, He's not going to play people just because. We need to work hard. We need to um, play hard in practice. We need to play against each other, make each other better. So, OSU is looking to make the Big 12 tournament with seven conference games left to be played. The Cowgirls will return their focus to Texas as they host the Longhorns Wednesday night at 7. For the Pope Report, I'm Bailey Burmaster. When your Cowgirl basketball team takes on Texas at 7 p.m. Until then, make sure to support your Cowboy wrestling team this Friday when they take on Wyoming at 7.30.